So I'm hanging up what Jamie and I made for Valentine's Day. So we actually did our Valentine's Day a little bit different this year. She planned the actual Valentine's Day Friday, and I planned the next day. My plan was to go to Painting with a Twist, which is you can bring your own wine, beer, whatever, snacks. So you have fun doing that, and then it's also a fun way to like paint and create something that you can like hang in your house, which is what I'm doing. Got my 90s alt playing right now. I'm gonna pause that. So I invited Costas over uh, to do his little cooking video. He tends to like to do these cooking videos where he'll actually walk people through the process of how to make a particular item that he's putting on his menu, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, he always does it at his dad's place, and his dad's place is in Garland. It's not too far from here, but I mean, we got this rockin' kitchen and he wanted to borrow my lavalier set. So I was like, bro, you wanna just do the cooking video over here? So we're gonna do the cooking video right here in my kitchen and we're gonna set up the lights and all that. I mean, he's gonna be doing it. I'm gonna be helping here and there cause he does like some product shots and all that, but that'll be cool. On a side note, if you haven't already followed this page, it's Influencers in the Wild. It's pretty funny. It's on Instagram, just Influencers in the Wild. I mean, chances are you probably do follow them. They have 1.9 million followers. It's pretty hilarious. I had breakfast at like seven o'clock in the morning. And it's already 10.30 and I get hungry like every two to three hours, like on the dot. I need to eat more. So vlogging on the EOS R, coming from the Sony a7 III, I do love having the flip out screen. If you ever see me looking that direction, it's because I'm making sure I'm in frame, I'm in focus, everything looks good. Granted, it's vlogging, so things don't have to look like perfect. It doesn't matter. It is nice having the flip out screen, so I will say that the eye autofocus is like ridiculous good. Uh, now, I have found that if you are trying to focus on something that isn't like a human or doesn't have an eye, um, the eye autofocus doesn't always work like automatically. Yeah, you can touch focus, but if you don't want to do that, I found that the best mode that you can do is the zone AF. And you can put that zone, it's a fairly large zone, but you can keep it like right in the center. Because usually anything you're going to show is going to be basically in the center of the frame. So that would be the mode I would recommend if you aren't going to be tracking like a human or you just want autofocus to work no matter what's in front of your screen. That is one thing that Sony had on the Canon R as far as the focus goes is you can just set it to wide and it works like on whatever whether it's a face, the face tracking it automatically picks it up but the eye autofocus on Canon R is like can only imagine the R5. 4K 120 FPS. What? There's probably not going to be autofocus on that. So Costas just showed up Setting up the camera, getting everything going. Dude, is this a ploy to get you to eat some awesome food? Dude, I love <laughs> eating and you love cooking. Yeah, you gotta see yourself, bro. There see? you go. The EOSR, all you the benefits. You got the flip out screen. Got the flip out, you can see like, bump up the ISO. oh, I need to bump up the ISO. There you go. It's so easy. But we're using my kitchen as the backdrop. Too bad we don't have any cool retro lights that. Well, why we need we get, to order that on Amazon. Let's get your, um, your spotlight out. Oh, the key light, yeah. The key light. It was just clean in here, and now it's not. Is this the, is you want to use the boom? Is this the key light we're using? No, that's the crap. We're using that key light over there. Good All right, there you go. I mean, ish. Newer, I mean, it's not as good as Aperture. It, I mean, the Godox, you cannot beat that. What I want to do was call some of the Irish restaurants up in the Dallas area, because no one makes a shepherd's pie with lamb. And if you know shepherd's, they don't watch cows, they, they watch, they herd, you know, lamb, sheep. That's why they call it a shepherd's oh, pie. I guess that makes sense. Cottage pie is made with ground beef, but a lot of Irish restaurants, they want to cut costs. So instead of paying $6 a pound for lamb, they'll spend $2 a pound for beef. Mm. Um, so that's why I want to start the video off. You're not going to cut corners like that. Come on now, bro. That's not what you do. Um, so I want to call some Irish restaurants that are like, I'm just curious, is your shepherd's pie made with beef or lamb? I'm gonna make that phone call. I'm gonna be like, oh, beef, and I'm gonna hang up. And then I'm gonna call the next one. I'm gonna call three Irish restaurants, and then I'm gonna start the video up and be like, 
Guys, you see what's going on over here in Dallas? The fact that you can't get a proper shepherd's pie. It's so sad. Let the Greek restaurant handle it for you guys. Something to that effect. That's good. Yeah. I like that. I dig it. Is that coffee? What kind, uh, what kind of crap coffee is that? Dude, this is a, th this little bean of mine roasted here in Rollet, Texas, bro. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Come it's on. locally roasted. Artisan, bro. All right, fine, fine. It's almost as the, good as my Lavazza. I mean, the, the cup is not, you know, I mean, this is you know, your yeah, standard that's as, that's Sam's as Walmart Club. Walmart as you get right there. <laughs> this newer, Justin, newer with the Godox, that. newer soft box I with the Godox. How much do you think? Look at that. Ah, uh, the Kelvin's way off. You need to go auto. No, and you're, what about your camera? How's oh, it looks look? so good. Should I move it a little bit to the left? left? Say something. Guys, welcome to another episode. Right, we're trying to get the right angle for Costas for his, now you can see the light. I think rule of thirds, I think this angle right here looks fantastic. You can right, my start, hands. start doing it. So yeah, another thing I love about the EOS R is the color science. Like Canon's colors just look so much better. Like look at Costas right here. Look at the orange, bro. It's just popping. That would look, Sony, this that would look, look so yellow. yellow. Look like parsnips. Like yeah, like <laughs> jaundice. You need a pill for that. So, color science, Canon EOS R definitely wins in that regard. Um, the 120 frames per second at 720 is not great, uh, but if you've seen my latest Instagram video, depending on where you're hosting your video at, it doesn't really matter uh, as long as you're using the right lens uh, and you know the techniques to make the footage look as best as possible, aka not using a high ISO, using a sharp prime lens. Uh, Ellie, no ma'am. Anytime strangers come over, my dog just like nips at their ankles. Or just a little, like a little, little bit to let you know like, hey, I wanna herd you. She's like a herding pointer in a shepherd mix. Um, but yeah, look, there's the paintings from earlier. They're up. So long story short, it's been a crazy day filming here uh, with Costas doing his uh, cooking channel video. How it's to not make a cooking channel, bro? It's not a cooking <laughs> channel. Cooking <laughs> restaurant tour vlog war. That's what he does. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's making a shepherd's pie. Uh, but as far as the EOS R goes, uh, switching from a Sony user to the Canon line, I have the Canon 1DX. He's been on it. He's been wanting me to do it for a while. Sony sucks, bro. Hmm. I mean, they're, they're not super great. I like how politically correct you are because you're, you're tired. I'm trying to be, all right, all right. Talk I'm about trying Canon. to be in Switzerland. Let's talk about Canon, exactly. Yeah. All right. Um, Canon, overall, I think they're doing a lot of really good things in the video field, you know, announcing with the R5 that's coming out. Where is Sony in the A7S III that everybody's been talking about? Like, they're not coming out with new cameras. And not to mention, one of the biggest reasons I switched over is the Canon colors. Everybody says it, the Canon colors are so much better. Custom tweak a Sony picture profile that still didn't quite match Canon, but it got close and I'm like, man, why am I doing all this? Canon, the build quality is just tremendously better than Sony. Even the EOS R feels a bit more like a tank rather than a tinker toy. I guess between um, the two of us, we got like the entire Canon lineup. I got the 6D2, the 5D4, you have the, uh, the Canon R. Canon R, Canon 1DX Mark II. Not planning on getting the Mark III, it's just- I Law of diminishing know, returns? Law of diminishing returns. I don't feel like I need to upgrade. Uh, to get their like raw, nor do I want to get their new CF Express cards. Not to mention the red Komodo is going to be using CF cards, CFast. Might be looking at getting that, I don't know yet. So we'll have to see the specs. Well dude, let's, uh, you going to show me how to do that uh, juicy B-roll that you're famous for now? Quasi-famous, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have the behind the scenes footage filmed of me filming with the Canon 1DX Mark II, just because that 120 FPS B-roll on the 1DX Mark II is just so good. The Canon R does 720 and it does decent, but I wanna get some really cool B-roll of this Guinness brew. So let's cut to that right now. 